Same-sex marriage is still an ongoing battle in the U.S. Parts of Mexico and Argentina have settled the issue, shining a light of hope for homosexuals while casting a dark cloud over conservatives. 39 votos a favor, 20 votos en contra, 5 abstenciones. Cheers of joy radiated throughout Mexico City last week as it became the first Latin American city to legalize same-sex marriage. Then earlier this week, Argentina was the site for Latin America's first gay marriage in the province of Tierra del Fuego. Shocking for many here at home, especially since Latinos are known to be highly conservative and predominantly Roman Catholic. It's not as big a change as people would like to think that it is. Whitney Waddell and her wife were one of Bakersfield's first homosexual couples to be married. But it's kind of sad to look around at other couples who are equally committed and equally in love and to discover that they don't have those rights. She says the U.S. has something to learn from these Latin American countries. Hey, it's about uh, midnight here at Los Angeles International Airport, and I'm about to uh, board the flight to go to Mexico City, and it leaves at 1 a.m., and it's going to be a red-eye flight straight to the morning, and tomorrow, um, the movie plays tomorrow, so uh, cross your fingers. Everything goes well. It's supposed to thunderstorm. It's a presidential elections. It's uh, going to be quite an adventure. So uh, join me for this, and um, hopefully it's exciting. So uh, let's see what happens. Coincidentally, the same weekend Inspired was premiering in Mexico City was also a very special gay and lesbian pride parade. What made this Mexican LGBT event different than previous years is this year their parade coincided with the Mexican presidential election. Mexican law dictates that no alcohol of any kind will be sold during the weekend of the presidential election, but the founders of the gay and lesbian pride parade, rather than moving their event, decided to continue holding their parade on the traditional weekend because this was a very heated presidential election and they were not willing to back down. Every corner of the city was tiled with posters for various presidential candidates and for candidates for the mayor of Mexico City. With the Mixed Mexico Queer Film Festival, the Gay Pride Parade, and the presidential election all in one weekend, we were ready to get some amazing footage and nothing could have stopped us except the rain. Even though the constant downpour the whole weekend did cause a change in our plans, we were able to see some of the city and go to a local polling place on election day. And this is my friend who just voted. So what is that? This is my ID and what I use for votes. And this is a sign that I have voted for. And I have to confess that I was a little nervous when I was voting because the decision of uh, a lot of Mexicans uh, about our president is going to be tough on these days. And, well, we have the results today. And um, I think it's going to be at 11 o'clock. And we're going to know who's going to take uh, big on charge of our country. Here we are at the Lido Cinema for the second screening of Inspired. We're here today. It's uh, the day of the election. It stopped raining, as you can see. Um, you can hear the birds. It's a very nice day, so hopefully uh, we get a good turnout. So let's go inside and check it out.
up all last night till five in the morning, and he's gonna make sure that our screening next week is gonna be subtitled and perfect, so thank you so much. No, it's okay. And especially this weekend, like, uh, we had Pride, uh, a really political and sober Pride yesterday, and today we, it was election day, so it was a really important weekend, and I think that this movie is especially important, and especially important in this place, in this moment. People are buying tickets right now behind us, so uh, we're gonna go in in about one minute and watch the movie. So uh, cross your fingers. I actually follow kind of the same path that a lot of people in this film who were not at all politically active before Prop 8 passed. I was never, you know, I didn't do phone banks, I didn't do anything political at all. And there were so many protests in that first month. There was like three every week. And it almost became like an addiction. Like people would be like, where can I go today? What can I do today to protest? And I got, I got caught up in all that. To some extent, this film is like my protest march. And if we only played this film in gay festivals, it's no different, it's no different than the gay people sitting in the gay park in West Hollywood and talking to each other. Like it needs to play in documentary film festivals and film festivals that aren't gay. The, the Latino Equality Alliance is huge now. It's still just as active four years later as it was then. It's very involved in other elements because we're all fighting for equality. And we're all fighting, you know, to to be to coexist together. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jonathan Menendez, and live from Mexico City, I'm here with um, Brian and Chucho, and uh, we're really excited about the film. Another exciting thing about the Mix Mexico Film Festival was getting to share the spotlight with filmmaker Jonathan Menendez, whose film Gay Latino LA had its worldwide premiere at the Mix Mexico Film Festival. This film also contains several people who appear to inspire the Voices Against Prop 8. People already know we exist. We just need to take off the sunglasses and say, hey man, try on these sets of glasses. We are here. We've always been here. You know that. It's a lot like bell bottoms. When you first see them, you're like, ew, they're not very attractive. I don't really like them. And then you kind of see that your friends have them, and then you see them around, and then suddenly, you want a pair. And then they're accepting. And that is kind of where we're at. <laughs> I'm actually really, really happy, um, very excited for other people to watch the movie. I've got very positive feedback, very amazing things. Alright, go ahead and tell me, how do you feel? Um, it, it was a very good weekend. There was a few uh, speed bumps, but uh, Chucho, our translator and our uh, hero, uh, was great, helped us out a lot. Um, the people that did turn out, great questions, everyone uh, was really into the movie. And it's just really exciting to get to show like our story in another country. And it was great to uh, hang out with this guy right there. So uh, especially when I found out we have a lot of same people in our film together. So uh, I think we should do a double feature something. I think so. I, I'm, I'm, I'm all about that. We should do it in LA. We could do it in other cities. To Mexico now, where Enrique Peña Nieto has been confirmed as the winner of the presidential election. The centrist candidate's victory follows a dramatic race in which the second-placed candidate, Andres Manuel López Obrador, refused to accept defeat. The official result was only announced after a recount of almost half of the votes. The protesters' message was clear and uncompromising. Peña out. <laughs> In their tens of thousands in the historic center of Mexico City, they also chanted Mexico without pre and held up banners carrying the word fraud in a collective rejection of the presidential election result. The pre deny having paid for votes, but that's unlikely to convince these voters. In our final day in Mexico City, the rain finally let up, and in viewing the city, I stumbled upon one of the many protests against recently elected President Peña Nieto. Ironically, the protest we went looking to find, controversy over same-sex marriage, which had only recently been adopted in this city three years earlier, was a non-issue. 
For a country many in the U.S. consider as conservative, very religious, and not as advanced, marriage equality is no longer an issue. The gay and lesbian community and the progressive allies in Mexico City have moved on from marriage equality to fight other battles for all people in the country. Hopefully from places like this, the U.S. can take a few lessons and advance as much as Mexico has.